Star Trek continues, season one, episode four, the White Irish Transcript. And on behalf of the Peter Secularists, I have formally agreed to be the Ephraera. You will not be will not be silent. Your Federation is not welcome here. Enterprise, Emergency, beam out now. No, please, no. Spot report. Scott, we are ambushed, Commander. McCoy, he's got he's got a severe concussion, massive swelling in the Amadalia. Can't be couldn't be be in the worst part of the brain. You are right. What do you mean? Responsible. The brain's emotional memories. In this case, the hemorrhaging terminal. Let's say I'm a second doctor. Conventional treatments should prove effective against such injuries in that region of the brain. The captain's brain spot. He's dying. That's all you have to say. On the contrary, I'm about to suggest in You can't be serious. Not even, not even like out on trials. Doesn't, we don't know the doses, the side effects. Hell, we don't know if it damn a treatment. We even work here. But the recent Starfleet medical studies, Escalin, has proven, shown promise. In other words, fatal neurological injuries, 42.2% of patients. McCoy and the 20% of patients are damaged or worse. Forget Escalin. Spock. Captain, do you understand? Burke. Doctor. Brain empty is spiking again. Jim, this is a experimental drug. There is no do it. Do it now. But readings are stabilizing. Neurological activity is returning to baseline. What happened? If you instructed the doctor, the minister, and the torrential drug reset your central nervous system. I did. I guess I did. McCoy, well, it was all right call, Jim. Why does it holding up? The dose saved your life. You're not going to try to take over and practice, are you? Now, are you? But, Captain, well, I am pleased at your recovery. The time says this mission on hand, planet's surface. Yes, of course. McCoy, easy does it, Jim. Take it slow for a while. I don't want to see you back here in a, an hour. I find bones, thank you. Can anything, can anything stop that man? Nothing I have seen yet. Bridge, Bulk. Hammered Bridge, 917G. Miss Flint, the android girl, Ring Anna. You remember her? I remember everything, everything. Not my fine, sir. There was, you were great terminal over these events, Captain. Act in the manner as which I felt would spare you pain, practice upon reflection. Not my place to do so. She was, however, simply machine. She was human. Whatever she started out as, she was human when we, when I pushed her too far. Lieutenant, open the channel to Cisicris. Open, channel open, sir. Captain Kirk, thank the gods. Well, my ship's physician does occasionally earn his pay, minister. I'm also, I'm so relieved to hear it. Could not apologize enough for, what, for that attack. Our sister well opposes our desire to join the Federation. There's still nothing to prevent it. Well, mister, the attempt to derail your alliance has failed. I pray that you are correct. It screens a promise swift action on a global scale. Your Federation's gift of planetary defense grid provide some protection to its needs. So let us proceed, Captain. We are ready to activate the console. With your permission, a command code, of course, F. Mitzvah's. Captain, the passcode, Captain, Captain. Kirk, space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Star Trek ship Enterprise. Continue mission to explore strange new worlds and seek out new life and new civilizations. The world to go where no man has gone before, Captain. Minister, may I have a moment for brief diagnostic procedure? Uh, well, yes, of course, if you wish. Close frequency. I can't remember the password. I recall heading Starfleet Command. We can obey, obtain a password directly from them. The CNC authorized me to lock that down the console with my own encrypted password to initialize it if I've only if I decide the Citroens were ready to join the Federation. The so password is known only to you in a world spot, Jim. Perhaps Dr. McCoy treatment has has some unintended side effects. Yes, that must be must be it. Well, Kirk, Mr. Spock, you had to come. Spock, Lieutenant Palmer, please inform Starfleet Command that critical defence squid console may be defective. Crescent ETA for replacement. By the way, sir, Mr. Scott, I believe the device has been taken to engineering. Aye, but the captain used a personal code. Mr. Chekhov, do you have experience in cryptography? Do you not? Aye, yes, sir, academy. I once decoded as he died. 
Please assist Mr. Scott in unlocking and reinitiating parentry defence console, sir. Spot to sick bay, sick bay, no keep that, Jim. Good and love, sir. C- c- Commander, energy signature on the surface of Weakera is an interparentary ballistic missile. So they're confirmed. A reading a high yield atomic warhead leaving the planet's atmosphere. Mrs. Bot, we're being held by the minister, I presume. On screen, after we did this, it's happening. A sister well would launch a weapon which will strike sisters within two hours. Where is Captain Kirk? This is the first officer spot. We're monitoring out to the creek, Mr. I'm aware the Federation promises planetary defense grid. Where is your captain? Captain Kirk is recovering from injuries, suffered from an attack. Please stand by for further instructions. Enterprise out. Smith inter- intercept course. Commander Rainer Mulder Elbit. But monitor the situation. Mr. Sulu, you're at the bridge. It is, is it the concussion, bones, the drug? Maybe a minute. Give me a minute, will you? It must be. I remember the attack. I remember being here sick really, but I can't remember the password. Is that all you want to tell me? But Hold told you, didn't he? Of course he did. Jim, he's worried about you. I'm not crazy, Bones. You sure you are? That's why we like you. It, that can't be right. What is it? That's impossible. What? Pushing your heart tissue, shutting down during extreme. McCoy, Chief Medical Officer Log. Start eight six one eight two point three. I may have reached the limits of my expertise. Captain Hart's are progressively wiggling. I must admit I have no medical explanation. Spot progress report, Mr. Scott. There's no progress, Mr. Scott. We cannot initialize the briefcase within the captain's postcode. Well, the captain's post code. I don't know what I can do. Then sign. You apply the brute force sacralism. Do I ride a device lockout? So a directing system consoles is I deactivate event of multiple success at access attempts. So you state protocol. I not I can keep trying to circumvent the encryption. It may take days. Please continue. Scott. Mr Spock. How's the captain? Check off. Will you be all right? It is certain at this time. But anything we can do, you're presently doing it, Mr Scott. Priority in the activation of this console. Protection of Chitrian homeworld. I McCoy, it keeps coming up as localized heart failure, but the mitochondrial tissue isn't dead. It isn't even damaged. Certain muscle fibers are just atroping and you can't see her. You didn't see her, did you, Rose? We served on a phone right together. We were very close. It was seven years ago. Total of IV. 200 crewmen died. She's one of them. She, you blamed it yourself. I knew you were close with Captain Grover Wick. But I didn't know about the the Nikita. I never spoke about her. I thought I could forget, like I could forget Jim. I'm not sure you're considered medical. Whoever called you is suddenly to remember what's about the ways. It unlocks something deep, very deep. I'll call it Dr. McKeith. If he would have been a psycho recorder. I don't need a shrink, Dr. Bones. You don't know what you need. Apparently, me with you, Doctor. I'm sorry, Bones. That was unnecessary. It's not inaccurate. You're right, Jim. I don't know why this is happening. But, oh, damn, you're going to tell me there's nothing wrong with that stubborn head of yours. This spot, Dr. McCoy, has cleared me to return to duty, I have. The good doctor suggested a visit to the ship's counsellor, which the patient was respectfully declined, Captain. In this instance, I concur with the doctor. Given the circumstances, psychiatric elevation is vital. Getting up on me now. Duly noted, gentlemen. But, Captain, are you not concerned as a reason for your affliction? Affliction is a result of the skeleton. Why, Spot? Do you ever uh, have another theory? Because I'd love to hear it. Perhaps not as much as a theory as... Are you following me, sir? You see the same things that I do? You speak the same language, groans. I'm fine, Captain. I'm fine, Spot. I'm fine. An incoming message for Starfleet Command. A patient console is four Earth days away. Inform the captain and cut to the monster block as well. So the Ephraim warhead is creased velocity. Time for impact, the current rate and trajectory, 59 minutes. Phase is on standby. We're having trouble getting a weapon with lock. Increased power to the actual beam. Already tried, sir. It's no good. We lost sense of contra- contract of the warhead. Destroyed? No, sir. It just vanished. Lock. But that suffers his personal lock. Any place has lost track of an inborn vessel. By all attempts to locate it. 
Well, Captain Kirk has stabilised after his recent fighting episode. Condition remains a mystery. Captain Minister, I wish I could tell you the twin planets are really, really at odds with each other. Unfortunately, that's too often, not too often the case. I mean, yes, generations ago, we chose a simple spiritual way of life, well in touch with the mysteries of nature. Everyone's chose a more metaphysic, metaphysic philosophy. Instead of celebrating the difference, they demonstrated hostility, disdain for hours. Kirk, well, the Federation is com- comprised, comprised of great diversity. We applaud you, your, your values are welcome, you in that diversity. This is the vent squid. It's a vent squid. We'll protect you, planet, against a creek of hostility. Ephemeria dies. You have our thanks, Captain. Part of the people consider us. I will fully remember, agree to this student. Eureka will not be silent. Your Federation is not wanted here. Scott, Enterprise, immediately beam out now. Faces, no, please, no. What was the Captain? What's the Captain's cranial injury? Enough to cause hallucinations and chiropathy. The injury healed. Maybe the accident. I can't speak for, for, to the physical issues. But I can, but no one can help the logical ones. Unless Captain permits me. But now, he certainly doesn't want to, certainly doesn't want to, want. Dr. McKinney, may I have a word with my senior officer, please? Doc and I felt the sea, ship's cancer. We wait, helpful, Jim. Thank you, Doctor. Commander, your things are noted. You're dismissed. Stage is pulled. A physical warhead was straight Cassius in less than an hour. For any, for none reasons, a weapon's lot is not possible. Boundary defence grid is. Now, how are you, Scotty Chick, of doing the console? Miss Scott's efforts to decrypt your password been unsuccessful. Perhaps McCoy will sympathise, can sympathise a truth serum. I believe in you, my husband. How long till the missile reaches the planet? As I have just stated, Captain, less an hour. Melissa, Kirk, Melissa, I can bear you young, many sons, groans, Jim. You've got to do something about this. All we have to... Is that an effect, Doctor? The Chief Medical Officer, the ship. My job is sure we're wasting time. Put your station. I'll be on the bridge. Wait, wait. Whatever it is, let me help. Captain, are you okay? It's just my way. I was on my way to the bridge. Is that, is it, it's that way, sir? Yes, of course. There's no medical evidence of it, didn't Kate? The visions of a side effect of insulin injections, Doctor. Do you believe the Captain is seeing ghosts? I believe the captain believes he's seen ghosts, regardless of whether he's willing to admit it. Can you think, you don't think they're real, do you? You don't want to be joking on the country. Broken history often refers to the contra, the soul. Well, here I brought the Vic Gulkins of people of science. To the people of science is the knowledge that sometimes science points to something more. Vulcans are not also people of spirit. The two are not as contradictory as you may assume. I know a horror, captain. Mr. Apostolis, Kirk, Mr. Sulu, I need a lock on that missile. Sulu, sir, there's no way. They may make from the last known trajectory. And fire blind if you have to. Aye, aye, sir. Coming about, Smith. Compa- com- compensating for variance, comp- variance. There's a 2.5 drag coefficient. Every time I have course of correction. Nothing we can't handle, drag. Sir, we what the warhead may be venting. Die, dry plasma. Plugging out our impulse manifold. There'll be what scrambling the totally center spark. A charged particle burst from the defector dish could ignite the plasma. Sulu, we only got one shot at this. We have to be quick. Set second window at most. Do it. Target acquired. Nikita, the foot got is a lucky ship. Look at I met you, I met you here. I met you here. Target acquired, Captain. We're losing weapons lot. Captain? Millenese, I'm hearing I have nothing to fear, Millenese. You are here, Captain. Block, Captain. Fire phases. Sulu. War destroyed. Edith, James, let me help. Nikita, do you remember where we met? Nikita, you want to say something? Miss Edith, I bear my your child. Miss Edith, I bear your child. I did the best I could. I, didn't, I can't change anything now. What do you want from me? Cut around the spot. I'm fit for duty. I will leave myself command. Ship with your door trying twice. Do, another dose of Tesselin. Another dose of brandy. Drink up. Medical scanner hums. Do you think you need a distraction to do that? I don't know what to think, Jim. Never seen you like this before. Your heart's opening at 15% efficiency. Only fraction, only fraction is still healthy. It's doing the work, it's, it's doing the work for the rest. Another cardiac event is inevitable. This time, mate, you may not survive it. This is your life we're talking about. Snap out of it, Jim. 
not alone here. Really? Really? Judy first. Always Judy first. Comes at price. You think I love those women bones? I, s- I think you love a lot of women, Jim. Sorry, the answer is yes. Another ship, another paint, another time. Wherever I find them, I lost them. But I've never been able to let go. Oh. McCoy, Jim, I didn't know. You always kept it buried, hidden. Command and for no, no room for such indulgences. Nikita, what does he want? What wanted to ask me, Groves? Why are you here? What do you want with the captain? Groves, Jim. I see, I saw him. You spoke to him, Spot. What did they say? There must be resolution. There must be peace. They need closure, Captain. Pretty resolution. You can give. How? They're gone. Get to the bridge. Tell Scotty to beat down consoles of the planet. I'll be there shortly. I should order you to sick bay. You, you, sh- you have some place more important to be. Doors chimes. Who is it? I thought. Now might be a good time for that little chat. I'm glad you came. Please sit down. I don't know why I'm really here, really. Spot McCoy. There's some answers. They have some answers, but not all of them. Well, I certainly need help however I can. I relieved myself of command today. Do you do know that? I never, I never thought that day would ever come. I read your files. I think you might want to speak to me. That far, aren't that you? I get that a lot, too. You lost some people very dear to you. The responses are required for you to make certain sacrifices. Sacrifices, Doctor. They died because of me. I failed on spot, says they want resolution. They need closure. I don't know how to get them that. Captain, with respect to Mr. Spock, he's wrong. Humans bury feelings, heartbreak and loss. We lock them away. We never come to terms with them. Those feelings can paralyze us. I think you suffer from a great deal of guilt. You never had the opportunity to explain to them. Why you had to do what you did. Don't you see? It's not they that have been the resolution. It's you. But it's not even late now. It's never too late to make peace with those we love. But how? Where? Invite them to come to you. Perhaps in place you left them. Computer? Computer ready. Run the simulation. Computer. Please define simulation. Parameters. Earth. 1930. Uh, New York Street. City Street. Evening. Computer working. Computer, program complete, running simulation. If, James, you wanted to walk toward me, you started to walk toward me, and Dr. Coy did too, but you held him back, you stopped him, I don't my heart to allow history to unfold as it meant to. I would, I would have loved to have shown you those stars. You were ahead of your time in so many ways. We spoke the same language, the same, same. But, my dear, but my duty, your destiny, I understand, James. I don't why. Be at peace. Command the spot. I'm reading 23 additional rituals, approaching a full amp impulse, scanning a tricopot warhead, sir. So the rig, rig for training boot, for tractor beam, drake, weapons control, ready phaser banks, loaded video tubes, delay that remote model, and using energy weapons to detonate trigger devices, result in catastrophic subspace ruptures in the system. We can get a tractor lock in two, three, and most. Lieutenant Laura, open a channel to a treacherous council computer, loading program, sick bay, constitution class stewardship, US Federal Route NCC 1647, running simulation. Don't think this means you're getting out of your date tonight. Not a chance, Nikita. Nikita. What happened to the crew and you? It's not your fault, Jim. You know that, don't you? I knew the risk when I signed up for Starfleet. If I didn't join, I never met you. Have met you, never met, have met you. I wish, I hope, you can forget me. There's nothing to forgive. No more guilt, Jim. No more. Bridge, Scott the bridge. We've been the console back to the planet circle. I'm not sure what good it's going to do. I nodded. Stand by for further instructions. That's, sir. Warheads are coming. Time to impact for eight minutes, 44 seconds. Miss Spock, Mr. Amnesty, I'm an assist on Channel 38 by E. Engineer has returned to the defense grid console. Are you sure what the weapons are supposed to do? Throw it in at, at the incoming missiles? What were we supposed to do? Throw it at the incoming missiles? But the activation code, no use whatsoever. The Federation made promises. We're doing our best to keep them, Minister. Uh, uh, Korok, a dream, you were gone. I was wished. They haven't, uh, haven't come back to me. I've never been so happy. Why? Why do you put yourself in danger? A place at your side, always. Your gift I could never pay. Thousand lifetimes, both of you, my husband. One does not repay a gift. There's a great, great spirit for forgiveness of others, ourselves. Do not torture yourself, my husband. Each kiss is as at the first. 
Spock to Captain Kirk. Skirt. Spock, Spock to Captain Kirk. Kirk here. 23 treacherous missiles on route. A straight set us in six minutes. I still can't remember the password, Captain. Are they moving in close to safe distance? Avoid. Catamedic shockwaves. Negative. Move the drone to raise the path of warheads. Divert all available power to port side shields. Captain, while we're not most likely to survive, detonation spread the missile. We'll make it impossible to distract them, all of them. It's the best we can do, Spot. And I'm on my way. Lay in the insect schools. All power to port defectors. I only, sir. Holding 614 Mark 747. First is a fool. Here are all hands, brakes, feedback. This is not a drill. I made this for you. What's your name? You never gave me one. I deserve much more. A chance to live to grow. But you always be with me, I promise. I'll carry you here every day of my life. Arises. Captain Zod, Sod 8618.9. We successfully activate the planetary defense field. It's even in his inbound missiles. Cut me spot, I relieve you. I stand relieved. Captain Bridge, Lieutenant, open up channels to the virtuous. Channel open, sir. Captain, you have all serious thanks. When the infantry and saw the result of your planetary defense grid, they requested me to enter formal peace preservation. So, excellent news, Minister. Welcome to the United States of Planets. Captain, I wanted to thank you for proving my request for a separate, separate office. Well, if I ever had any reservations, but you need for a ship's consular. Don't anymore. Thank you, sir. Irises? What a blaze is Irises? Never have would have guessed that in about 100 years. No, never would have qualified as a worthy password. Is it goal not to be easy guessed? Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, why, where do you get Irises? Finding myself mildly curious as well. Cut in library search. Discovered a painting by 19th century earth artist, Vincent van Gogh. The title was Irises. I wonder what. Why well, he painted one white Irish white, it said, because he was lonely. So how, how, how's the ticker, Jim? Taking away, you know, they say those that you love take a piece of your heart. I guess it's true, it certainly was for you, the last piece of your heart. The one refused to give up. I think that belongs to the other lady.